your lies won't serve Abia. Focus on governance. Group tells OT. So guys, everybody is just against OT for saying what they know is the truth. Now, the Nigerian citizens' words for good governance has called out Abia State Governor Dr. Alex OT for spreading fake statements as they said, instead of focusing on governing the states. In a statement, the group condemns Governor Oti's recent outburst targeting his predecessor, Okeze Ibazo. So guys, according to the group's spokesperson, Maduka Samuel, it is absurd that a sitting governor who has barely spent a year in office with a lot of work to do is running around making speeches full of lies and giving fake statistics at the detriment of the people he was elected to serve. We find it slanderous, an act of character, assassination and smear campaign against the former governor Okize Ibazu, a man who was elected twice by his people to serve them because of the great achievements he has brought on board. The governor who transformed Abia State to what it is now. So guys, the group demanded facts to verify Governor Oti's claim, challenging him to give names of the so-called contractors, publish reports, detailed and accurate reports of all the doings he claimed to have happened. So guys, everybody is just against Dr. Alex Oti because of what he said in the United States that Okezi embezzled 107 billion naira for unseen projects. Now look at what they are saying now. They said he cannot because these things never happened. They said that he's lying about them just as he lied. They even said that he's lying about uh, 247 lights in Abia. Can you imagine? He is a habitual liar, as they said, who suffered from mouth diarrhea. Hey! And soon the truth will put him in his place. Governance is a continuous process, so we expect him to continue on his projects. A puzzle has started to consolidate and even initiate more projects for Abians to enjoy the dividend of democracy in Abia states. So guys, he has led less than three years in office to do his best and show Abians that he deserves a second term or he will be evicted out of the government's house on 29th of May 2027. The group called on Abians to ignore Governor Oti's lies and urged him to wake from his slumber and face the reality. Man, with the way this thing is going now, this is a serious matter because what they are trying to tell him now is to face governance, not propaganda. Imagine the group telling Oti this. Hmm? This call was made by the spokesperson of the Nigerian citizen what for good governance. His name is Madoka somewhere. And he made this available to the media. Mr. Madoka explained that it became necessary for us to address the recent outbursts of the governor targeting his predecessor, Okizei Pazo, PhD, a man who was elected twice by his people to serve then because of the great achievements he, he has brought on board that that i like that was what they are saying that he brought great achievements on board <laughs> the governor who transformed abia state to what it is now so they find this slanderous an act of character assassination hmm? and smear campaign against the former governor victor Ipazo, abi okozi Ipazo. it is absurd that a sitting governor who has barely spent a year in the office with a lot of work to do is running around making speeches full of lies and giving fake statistics at the detriment of the people who was elected to serve so guys they are demanding facts to verify his claims so they are urging him to give the name of the so-called contractors to publish reports detailed and accurate reports of all the doings he claimed have happened so guys we have come to the end of this video please if you are new to this channel do well to subscribe like and drop a comment below see you guys in the next video